I'm gonna try something different today. I, I, uh, I've been playing around with color in the last few videos. I'm just doing a lot of experiments lately. Cause I um, realized I, I wanna focus on figurative art and, and uh, I'm not quite sure exactly what my approach is gonna be. So, so I've been trying a bunch of different things and making videos of each one. And this one, I'm gonna do a, a black, I'm gonna work from a black and white photo. Um, a lot of painters claim that if they work from black and white, then, um, <clears throat> then the, the painting or the photograph doesn't influence their colors overly. Um, and what I'm finding when I'm trying to push the colors and make more saturated um, colors in my paint, paintings, um, I, I still get too controlled by the photo. So if I want to give this an honest try, I probably need to attempt to paint from a black and white photo. So I'm taking this one and I'm turning it black and white. And let's get started. Okay, well that was the drawing stage. Somebody is requested that I show my drawing stage um, in my next video. Um, I don't know if you noticed, I had a, a few false starts um, and I decided not to edit them out because that's, uh, that's what I do. You know, I, I, I often will draw something, erase it, draw it again, um, and you know, just try to figure out how to position it on the canvas. And um, there's no shame in that, you know, that's, that's just, um, you know that that's just the creative process it helps me to get a sense of where i want to go with the painting and and the way i justify it in my mind is it's just drawing practice you know i draw it a few times i'm getting a, i'm getting a better sense of the model uh i'm gonna go ahead and start throwing some colors around and see what happens i'm kind of really curious myself okay So what you just saw there was a time-lapse video of me putting in the underpainting colors um, and I kind of colored in like a coloring book and, and, and the, the layer is really thin because um, I'm going to put it successively thicker layers of oil paint over the top of this. Um, but because I was just doing this thin painting that I can kind of cover over with whatever color I want, I um, was able to just kind of play with the colors and not really worry. Um, <clears throat> I got so loud with these other colors that I kind of kept the flesh tones and uh, the swimsuit and the hair more muted to, you know, so that it doesn't get too carried away. From here out, I'm going to be correcting the drawing with thicker layers of paint, uh, trying to create more um, variety in each shape so that the, the planes of the shape start to, to show up and just try to get a sense of um, how to model the colors when I only have black and white information so that it all works together seamlessly. Okay, well let's see how it goes. Works together seamlessly. Hey, this is kind of fun. I mean, I'm having fun, are you? Don't answer that. You wanna see I, I was surprised that uh, Things are coming out I wasn't expecting, you know? Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, well, that was really quite fun. I might have to try another one of those. Um, yeah, I was just surprised at, at how 
easy it was to figure the, the colors out, I guess because I just painted from life a lot, I had kind of a working knowledge to play off of, and, and it's just really fun to have more of an intuitive approach to the painting instead of <coughs> feeling like I was <coughs> following following a very static photograph too closely. But like a, a feeling came out. I don't know. It feels like summer, doesn't it? It's not summer outside, but it feels like summer in here. Um, Thanks for watching.